My name's David Morrissey, I play the governor on The Walking Dead, and you're listening to Creek's Questions. Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to episode 25 of Creech Questions, brought to you in part by the Dead Connection. In the background is The Irma and Louise with the song East Virginia. You can check out more of their music by going to www.theirmalouise.ch. Now, I am here once again with Chastity Valentine. Hey, y'all. And we've got a pretty epic episode for you. We do. Um, as a matter of fact, You'll be hearing our interviews with Scott Wilson, who I personally interviewed, my first interview ever, and of course, CJ's interview with David Morrissey. Yes, so we've got the Governor and Herschel all in one episode. Before we get to that, we do have some other things we have to talk about. Once again, this will be a short episode, so I do apologize for the uh, shorter length this week. Also... We've had a huge week in news for Creature Creative, so I really, really want to share that with you right now. So, Chastity, what is some of this news? Well, first of all, we have been approved for press for HBO, so Creature Questions will be bringing you more and more actors from many different shows other than just strictly some of these networks. Yes, I mean, shows like... Ballers, that features The Rock. Uh, We have Game of Thrones, which is probably the second highest watched show on any network. It's going, what, six seasons strong now? Uh, There's a huge fan base for it, and we're going to try to get as many people from that show on here as well. Plus, upcoming shows like Vice Principals with Danny McBride. You never know who's going to show up on Creech Questions, and now that we have the access to HBO networks, who knows who we'll bring on. But not only HBO did we get press approved for, we also got press approved for Cinemax. So, new shows like Outcast, which uh, Walking Dead creator Robert Kirkman wrote, uh, we could, we might even get people from them. I don't even know who we can get at this point, but our options are almost limitless now. And that's just to add on the fact that we've already been approved for press through AMC Networks and Fox Networks. It's definitely an exciting time for Creech Questions. Yes, it is. Definitely. Second announcement is I've created yet another page to follow me on. I know, it's crazy, right? Yes, um, I got the news by getting your request to follow the page. Um, This will be featuring some of our more raw material, more um, adult adult material for all of our viewers and listeners. Um, It'll be more on the comedic side of things, so hopefully it'll lighten up your day. Yes, whereas uh, Creech Creative Productions' Facebook page is more along the lines of professional, you know, they post all the finished stuff on there, the uh, CJ Creech page is going to really bring you some of the stuff that you normally wouldn't see, from outtakes to bloopers to just uh, footage where we curse a lot. So, fair warning to those who go on this page, there's going to be a lot of vulgarity on it, but it's it's all in good jest. Definitely. Um, You can't... Do the things that we do without some little frustrations here and there and things going awry and it creates a little bit of tension and we want to bring that to y'all in a very fun and comedic way. We want to make you guys laugh. Exactly. And uh, that that's my goal with the first project that's going to be Coffees with Chastity, which I'm working on right now that's going to cover <laughs> the uh, our struggles to get Chastity coffee. So she didn't kill us uh, one of the mornings in Orlando. (laughs) Um, I actually get ragged on a lot by the boys for my coffee habits um, and also my bad morning habits as well. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, I'd say say probably bad morning habits overall. (laughs) She's usually a little bit running behind and a little bit cranky. It's okay, though. I'm working on it, you guys. Yes, she is. And... um, We'll find out how much she's improved in, what, a week from now? When we are, me and Chastity, are going to be in Myrtle Beach for C4W's Night of Miracles 2. Uh, Creech Creative is a proud sponsor of the event. Uh, Tickets are only $10, and it's benefiting a great cause. So make sure if you're in the Myrtle Beach area, check it out. 
this is going to be Chastity's first probably experience with a, a professional wrestling event. So that that should be fun in and of itself. It will be. Um, I'm not going to lie. I've never been a true diehard wrestling fan, but I have a little bit of knowledge. And I'm really excited to work with these people. Um, Kevin Phoenix will be there, and um, we will also be doing a documentary for him. And I've conversed with him through messages, and he seems like a really great guy, and I'm really excited to see his atmosphere and what he does. Exactly. Kevin Phoenix is a great guy. He's one of the many uh, wrestlers that are going to be there, including some former WCW stars like Lodi. So make sure, like I said, if you're in the area, you're going to want to check that out. Um, next week's going to be pretty busy for us next weekend, because not only are we doing the wrestling thing next Saturday, me, Chastity, and David are going back to Sonoya on Friday to meet up with our lovely, lovely sponsors of this podcast, The Dead Connection. How excited are you to be going back? I am ecstatic. I love going to Sonoya, Georgia. It is one of the most beautiful towns I have ever seen, truly. And our sponsors, they are these beautiful women with, they're so charismatic and they just, they look like they just love their life and their coffee and their dessert and (laughs) they're great. I can't wait to see them again. Me too. I'm really excited. And who knows, maybe we might get some luck and stay this time and get to meet the Redis or uh, the Lincoln. I hope so, because last time we left a little too early, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, if you've checked out their Facebook page, which you should because uh, it's amazing, and they're giving away an autographed uh, photo of Greg Nicotero and a, uh, I believe it's the Bicycle Girl zombie pop figure, if you go to their page right now. Uh, one of the things that, that we did, like I talked about on the last podcast, was we went down to Sonoya and, and we had lunch with them. And then me and Chastity decided at 2 o'clock, okay, it's 2 o'clock, it's going to take 6 hours to get back home. So let's just go ahead and leave. Uh, we had been talking with the ladies of the Dead Connection and they told us about their bad luck and, and not being able to meet any of the actors if they, they go to the filming. So sure enough, about 2 hours into our drive home, you know, I'm just going through Facebook, you know, trying to kill time on the ride home. And then, wham, there's a picture of them meeting Andrew Lincoln, who's, you know, the biggest star on the show. And I looked at Chastity, and I was like, what is this? Seriously, we could have went. And she was like, why didn't you tell me that you wanted to go? And I was like, well, I didn't think we were going to meet anybody. So then we were like, that sucked. But we were were also really happy happy for the, the Dead Connection ladies. And then we were like, well, it's too late to turn around. It'll be a two-hour drive there. Nobody else is coming out, so we're just going to go home. So then two hours later, right after we, we get into South Carolina, just relaxing again, going on Facebook, and then boom, <laughs> there they are with Norman Reedus. <laughs> and I, at that point, I was just like, you know what? Man. <laughs> maybe we should have turned around. <laughs> maybe, And you know what? I agree. Maybe we should have turned around because then we probably wouldn't have gotten lost for like an hour and a half out of the way. So maybe it would have it would have been better if we turned around. I think our minds were focused on the opportunity that we had missed, and therefore we missed our exit. <laughs> I'm just gonna stick with that and 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 not go with the fact that it's probably just neither of us can read GPS. <laughs> so yes, maybe we might get to meet them. I know last time Norman was photographed holding our card, which was pretty epic. Um, and we will see what happens in a week. Last week I mentioned there would be the Return of the Walking Dead wrap-up on this week's episode. However, I did push that back um, just to make sure everybody's schedules can line up. So we will more than likely be recording that on Sunday for inclusion on next week's podcast. So, without further ado, I know everybody's probably thinking at this point, just shut up and get to the interviews because we want to hear David Morrissey and Scott Wilson talking about you. And for that, I say... One more second. I've got something, one other thing to say. I just want you to keep in mind, we were at a convention when this was filmed. And uh, these aren't our normal length interviews. These are going to be a little bit shorter. Uh, And the main reason being that Walker Stalker Con is a fan convention. So we were lucky enough to actually even be picked to get one or two questions with each of these actors. Which is why we're doing double episodes 
Now, David Morrissey was actually involved in a photo shoot earlier on that day. Uh, he had done one with all of the dead cast members that were there. And so uh, his manager was nice enough and kind enough, and David was nice enough to agree to do it. So without further ado, here is our question with David Morrissey, a.k.a. the governor. I just want to ask you, what was your favorite moment overall working on The Walking Dead? It's hard to pick out one moment. I mean, I think... Uh... You know, I joined the show in order to, to work with all the great actors, one of which was obviously Andrew Lincoln. So the scene that Andrew Lincoln and I did in the, in the grain store when we were around the table, I love that. You know, I mean, I've always been a big fan of Andrew's, and that was one of the great scenes for me to be able to work with him. I wouldn't say it was my favorite, though, because uh, there's so many favorites I have in the show. Uh, it's hard to choose. Right. Thank, you, sir. Thank you very much. All the best. Welcome back, everybody. I hope that minute or so question gave you a little more insight onto what his favorite moment from The Walking Dead was. As an added bonus for all you listeners out there, if you go to Creech Creative's YouTube page, just type in the search bar, Creech Creative, uh, and it should be under username Charles Creech, and I'll have the Creech Creative logo as the actual profile picture. You can actually watch what you just heard, so you can actually see him respond, and you can see... Uh, me and my pretty face interviewing him and also you can watch Chastity's interview with Scott Wilson which contains an appearance also by Cullen Moss and Josh McDermott so she kind of got the star treatment on her first interview but before we get into Scott Wilson's which she was able to ask three questions uh, which I do want to give a shout out to Dominic Mancini of Full Empire. It's his uh, convention manager, and uh, he's an awesome dude, and he hooked this up for us, and for that, we are all extremely thankful. And Chastity is going to go ahead and talk about Scott really quick and introduce his interview. All right, you guys. Um, like CJ mentioned, and I've mentioned a few times, I did do an interview with Scott Wilson at the Walker Soccer Con in Orlando. I was very honored to have this interview, and Scott Wilson is a very genuine person. Um, that image of Herschel really stands out in his daily life. In this interview, you guys will hear us talk about his new show, Damien, who he'll be starring in. Um, he went from The Walking Dead to that, and he seems pretty excited about it, and he seems really confident. I hope you guys enjoy this interview as much as I enjoyed interviewing him. How does it feel to be such an idolized character from The Walking Dead, creating such emotion in people? Well, I, I love it. I mean, I, I, I'm glad that the audience responded to what uh, everyone was trying to do. The showrunners, the writers, the, the actors, the, the other, you know, the, the, cat, the cast, the writers' room, the DP. It all came together and created a, a character that seems to have resonated with the audience, and as, as the whole show has. Right. That's awesome. Um, I understand that you're a part of a new upcoming TV series. No more Mr. Nice Guy. No more Mr. Nice Guy. You're going to be playing a completely different role. I'll be a different role, yeah. I'll be playing uh, in a new show called uh, Damien. Okay. And it has uh, Glenn Mazzara as the showrunner. Uh, it's based on the old film uh, The Omen, going back to whenever it was. But, but uh, So you went from dark to even darker. <laughs> dark to even darker, but, but uh, dark may shed light. I so agree with that. So that's, that's good, yeah. Good. Well, how do you feel about, do you feel confident in the fact that you can change from one character, such as Herschel, to your new character yeah. being the complete opposite of Herschel? Oh, it makes it fun. <laughs> makes it fun? Yeah, I mean, what I do, it makes it fun. Okay, awesome. We are back, and if you watch the video, you get to see all of that, including, which you can't tell if you're just listening to it, like I said, you can see the video bomb that Josh McDermott did, and obviously the lolly bomb by Cullen Moss, who did, this past week, I might also add, reveal that it was very intentionally done, both on Twitter and on Facebook he confirmed it, so there's that too, so you can watch the lolly bomb that he did in the uh, the video, 
like I said, by checking out that YouTube page. And personal thanks to Josh McDermott and Colin Moss for bombing my interview in two different ways. I couldn't be more honored to have a first interview go down like that. So thanks, you guys. Yes, my interview, my first interview was done with the always awesome Moses Mosley in an interview room, or actually not even an interview room, in a hotel room. So uh, I think you definitely have got mine beat by far. Well, I don't want to boast, but I am pretty proud of my experience. <laughs> this weekend, uh, we've got a photo shoot coming up, which hopefully you'll check out on the, the Facebook page once it's up. Also, I'll be shooting some more of episode two of season two of Best Friends. We'll actually be filming the entire episode this weekend. So, got to make sure you look for that because that's going to be out fairly soon. And then we've got four more big episodes for you left before it's... Gone for good. Is there anything else you'd like to add uh, for this this week's podcast? Um, Will you guys be looking out for next week's podcast? Um, We'll be interviewing... RJ Mitty. And... Giancarlo Esposito. So be looking out for that. Um, Both of them were awesome to interview. RJ Mitty is the biggest sweetheart in the entire world. And Giancarlo is the most intimidating. <laughs> so Very true. So be looking out for them next week. Yes, uh, th- that's pretty much going to do it for me as well. I'd like to add, just make sure you check out these interviews on YouTube so you can get the full experience. I want to thank you again. This is the 25th episode. We are a quarter of the way to 100 now, which is uh, just still mind-blowing to me. Once again, I do apologize for the short length. And next week, for sure, we will be doing The Walking Dead wrap-up covering the Season 6 trailer to The Walking Dead. And we'll be talking a little bit about Fear of the Walking Dead. So that's going to do it for me. This has been CJ Creech. And Chastity Valentine. And you guys have an awesome day. And we'll see you next week on on Creech Creech Questions. Questions. Hey y'all, this is Lou Temple. Greg Nicotero. Connie Moore. T Love. Zara Jensen. Emma Bell. Big Chen for Vince and Ward. Jeff Cobra. Jose Pablo Cantillo. Danny Robot. Lars Gilliar Jr. Nestor Carbon. Harold Parano. Daniel Thomas May. Colin Moss. Sarah Wayne Kelly. Chad L. Coleman. I'm RJ May for Breaking Bad. Bates Motel. AMC's Comic Book Man. The Walking Dead, and you're listening to Creech. 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 Creech questions. You better listen up good or I'm come get you. Hey everyone out there, this is CJ Creech, and you too can listen to our celebrity interviews on our podcast, Creech Questions. Check us out on CreechCreatorProductions.com and Facebook.com slash Productions.